Hey guys, this is Jenna Lieber from Turnkey Product Management. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I am a client manager at Turnkey. Uh, what we do at Turnkey is we manage full service uh, brands on Amazon. Um, and we also have a course uh, which teaches you how to sell on Amazon. And we also have an inner circle group uh, where we all meet together and we talk about Amazon strategies uh, every single month. So we do a ton um, all on Amazon. Um, that is our main focus. Um, so, I mean, you know, obviously I spend a lot of time on there and I'm basically here today um, to give you guys some big pointers, um, you know, that not only apply for quarter four, but, but also just in general, this should be in your Amazon strategy. Um, we feel that this is a perfect time to unveil it to you guys, to talk about it with you guys, because I mean, this is, this is the big time of year, right? Um, so today, what I'm going to talk to you guys about is what is working on Amazon today. So I'll go ahead and share my screen. I'll present this to you guys. All right, awesome. So like I said, we're gonna talk about what is working today on Amazon. So here are the four topics we're gonna to discuss today and I'm going to break down every single one of them for you, but we're gonna talk about some EBC updates, uh, video on the listing, uh, giveaways, and pixeling. So for those of you that don't know what enhanced brand content is, enhanced brand content is essentially a more in-depth product description that is available to sellers that are brand registered. Uh, so the EBC um, offers five templates and one additional custom template. So at Turnkey, we always use the one additional custom template. The reason being that sometimes your images are different sizes than the template. So it just makes it a little bit easier and um, better to play around with in our opinion. So um, that's just kind of a breakdown on how we put it together. So the big news and the big update is EBC now allows you to add keywords to each image in the enhanced brand content. Um, so this is a big deal because for those of you that don't know, EBC is a part of your SEO and can have an effect on your PPC. So it's really important to take advantage of keyword placement every single chance you get. So how do you do that, right? So the way you can input keywords into your images is for those of you that already have your enhanced brand content, it's built out, it's done, it's been submitted to Amazon, that's okay. What you can do is you can go back into enhanced brand content and edit, make edits to it. Now that being said, as you're making edits to it in the back end, you are not going to take down your current enhanced brand content, so it's okay to make these edits in the back end. So what you do to be able to input those keywords is you delete the image that you already have on there, and then once you re-upload the image, it will actually give you a spot to put these keywords in. So these keywords, the max character count is currently 100 characters per image. Um, so make sure that you're paying attention to that. Spaces do not count. Um, so as I've already said, the big bonus here and the reason this update is so huge is these keywords do index for SEO and PPC. I know a lot of people are concerned when it comes to your bullet points. You don't want to talk too long. You don't want to, um, you know, talk about things that maybe don't matter directly to your product. This is a great place to put them, right? They're not visible. Um, so just a great place to put these keywords. Um, and then, you know, while we're on the subject of keywords, one thing I always like to bring up is how important the EBC is to the mobile listing. The reason being the EBC shows up before the bullet points when it comes to the mobile listing. So on the mobile app with Amazon, your EBC is showing up first. Now, why is that important? Majority of users are only shopping on the mobile app. Um, I think when we're selling on Amazon, we obviously are using our desktops to set up these listings. So we sometimes I think forget that most of our shopping is through our phones, it's through those apps, it's through Amazon, the amazon.com app, right? So making sure you're paying attention to that is really important. So like I said, that enhanced brand content is showing up before your bullet points on mobile. So please make sure that enhanced brand content is on point and ready for the holidays. 
Um, and I would start making these changes soon. If you don't have an EBC, get one as soon as possible. Um, because it is the holidays, Amazon might take a little bit longer to allow you to update it, but just try to make those adjustments as soon as possible. And for those of you that are not brand registered, that's okay. This should be your push to hopefully get that trademark done, get ready to get brand registered because there are some, there is a ton of different valuable items. I'll cover another one in the next slide that you can take advantage of being brand registered. So moving on to the next thing, this is probably the biggest news. And, um, you know, obviously, like I said, you know, my, my whole job is around Amazon, right? So I'm a part of those chat groups about selling on Amazon. I'm a part of all those Facebook groups, right? Um, and the, this is a question everyone's asking. Um, how do I get video on the listing? So big news, sellers that are registered with Amazon brand registry can now add a video to their listing um, that shows their product in action. So how do you add the video? So, I mean, like all updates, uh, wasn't very public when Amazon did this. Uh, they didn't really mention it to anybody. I think it's just something you got to find, right? So luckily we spend all day on Amazon. We found it and we can help you get there. So where you would do it, you would go up to advertising and scroll down to enhanced brand content. Click on enhanced brand content. And when you're in there, what you'll do is you'll enter your SKU and what it will do, you'll, you'll press enter. And what it will do is it will say, um, do you want an enhanced brand content or do you want to add video? obviously press add video, right? Super simple guys. Uh, nothing crazy going on with this app, um, with adding it. It's super easy. So a couple things here. Um, you know, when we've been talking to people about this, we've been talking to our coaching clients about it, our course clients about it. They've been, you know, asking what, what is the best video to put on Amazon? Um, and we don't have a straight answer. We've seen a lot of success with different types of videos. So one that I always, the ones that stand out to me always um, are the ones that talk about the brand as a whole. So maybe it's not directly about your product. Maybe it's not about a specific group of your products, but rather it's about what your company is, what your company stands for, obviously featuring your products, right? But not necessarily a how-to video or not, um, you know, not something that's just showing how the product works, right? So um, you know, those videos do incredibly well. We see a lot of success with those videos. Um, but that being said, we also see a lot of success with those how-to videos like I was talking about. So showing your product in action, showing um, how it works, um, you know, how people should use it, you know, everything like that. It's good to also have those videos. So, um, you know, one thing I would recommend is, you know, you know your product the best, right? Um, you have Facebook stats. So if you're putting videos on Facebook, you're able to see, you know, how many people have watched this video. You can see on YouTube how many people have watched this video. Maybe you can use that to gauge it, but it's really your call. What do you think your customers want to see the most? Do they want to understand the product a little bit better with how to, or do they want to know who you guys are as a brand? You know your company the best, hands down. So, you know, this is incredibly important with the holidays, especially, right? You know, people are shopping like crazy. So trying to get this video on there as soon as possible will help you. Um, we have seen a huge jump when it comes to conversion for those that have video on their listing. So taking advantage of it is crucial. So again, in those videos, maybe create a, a video that has a personal connection with your brand, solve a pain point, provide as much information as possible, show them how to use it and how to, all of that can work. Um, and you know, one thing Jeff always talks about when we're, when we're talking to people about these videos is a video is better than no video. So if you're just getting started, if you don't have these video assets yet, that's totally okay. There's no need to stress out about it. One thing you can do is you can create a PowerPoint and um, this is something you can do by going to Fiverr. You know, you can, and there's a ton of people out there that can do this for you, but Basically, you can create a presentation, um, and what these people can do is basically move through the presentation and make it a video, right? And then you can add, you know, text over it. You can add voice over it. Um, there's different things you can do that won't be as expensive as a full production of a video, right? So there are other options for you. A video is better than no video, guys. So just something to consider. Don't get intimidated if you don't have these assets. Just try to get on board as soon as possible. So bonus tips. Unfortunately, Amazon doesn't straight up tell you what you can and can't do. 
Um, they make it complicated. You know, they like to make things complicated and that's okay. Um, so, you know, here are just some tips from our turnkey team. So we have gone through this process with tons of, you know, tons of clients and we've seen videos get approved, videos not get approved. So here's a couple of things we've learned. So try to keep your video two minutes max. You know, even that I think is pushing it. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, studies have definitely shown that people do not watch videos that long. Um, so trying to keep it as short as possible, keep it concise, I think can really help. Um, so just something to consider. Um, another random uh, like rule that, you know, Amazon doesn't talk about or that maybe other people don't realize is you cannot mention certificates. So I'm sure you're asking what, what does that mean? Uh, Cause it is a little vague. So, um, we had one client, it was a supplement client. They submitted a video, um, that basically the, the Amazon said you are claiming you're certified. And we're like, what does that mean? So I'm telling you guys, I rewatched the video like 20 times. And I'm like, I don't know what Amazon's talking about. Turns out Amazon was talking about that. We claimed we had a certain certified ingredient. We just slightly mentioned it when we were talking. Um, that just shows how thorough they are with watching these videos and making sure everything's okay. Um, so, you know, just watch what you say when it comes to things like that. Don't make these crazy claims. Don't say you're certified in this or this and that, you know, cause Amazon won't allow, unfortunately, even though it most likely is true. I, I, I know you guys aren't making up if you're certified in anything. Right. But unfortunately with Amazon, it's not going to fly. So just something to consider or a random tip we found. Um, do not use profanity. Um, I feel like this is common sense, but just in case, do not use profanity, don't use violence, don't use these things that you know Amazon does not want on their page. So just something to consider, don't do it. And then the last big thing, this is huge, your video will not get approved, guys, if you have any of this in here. Do not mention external links. This includes any text that has external links. So don't talk about your website, don't do it. Don't talk about your email, don't do it. Don't talk about your Facebook. Don't put facebook.com slash da da da. Amazon will not allow it. They do not want to take people off of Amazon, guys. So having any external links, even phone numbers, like I know that's not a link, but anything external that could potentially take a customer off of Amazon, they're not going to allow it in your video. So, um, you know, I know that's kind of stressful, like what the heck can you have in the video or what can you do with the video? Sometimes it is unfortunately a trial and error. I know that, you know, one of our clients, they got a few videos denied last week. So we're working through those and adjusting those videos. Again, that's something someone on Fiverr can easily do for you. People can make these adjustments for you. I know sometimes it can be a little stressful, but it's easy for people to make these cuts. And then the last thing before I move on to the next, um, Next slide, I wanted to point out where this video will be. So we put a little arrow right here, but it will be on your listing, incredibly exciting. Um, it'll be in the image blocks, so it'll be the last one featured in the image blocks. And then another place it will be, it will actually be right, I think it's like right above the reviews, I'm trying to like visualize it, but right above the reviews, it will say uh, like recommended videos, I think is what the technical term is recommended videos, and it, it'll feature that along with you know your review videos and everything. So um, Pretty cool telling you guys this could be a reason why people buy your product, especially, you know, a lot of people right now shopping for gifts for people. This could be your selling point. So get to this immediately. Next thing I want to talk about. So 100% in my previous presentations with you guys, I've definitely talked about giveaways. This is a promotion that not many people take advantage of. So we try to stress it as much as possible. It's just a great opportunity right now. It's a great place to get visibility. Highly recommend doing it. So giveaways, what do I mean by that? These are Amazon giveaways. So right now, if you were to go to amazon.com and search in their search bar giveaways, it would take you to their giveaways page, which is incredibly cool. You can see all these cool products that people are giving away. Um, they give away Alexas, they give away supplements, they give away Yoda pro yoga products, they give away all of it, okay? So it's tons of different products. There's no really, you know, it, it's just a great place to put yourself, right? So people, you know, people that maybe have never heard of you now have seen you there. So, um, you know, giveaways, like I just said, great way to promote your product, right? So how it works for those of you that don't know, that's okay. What you do is you go into seller central, you go to your promotions tab. And when you get there, there's a section that says giveaways, click on giveaways, right? And you'll set up your giveaways. Um, you'll select a number of products you want to give away. Um, we suggest at least two for those of you that are doing your first giveaway, keep it small. 
you want to see how successful you are. Cause I mean, I'll be perfectly honest. There are some products that completely kill the giveaway game and others, you know, sometimes struggle and, and that's okay. It's understanding what works best for your product. So definitely test this out. Like I said, I would recommend doing two, get as many people watching as possible and give yourself as best of the chance as possible. Um, and then after that, you select the number of participants um, that need to watch to win. So Amazon creates this number. You don't get to choose this number. Um, I don't know how Amazon chooses this number. It could just be the popularity of the product or what they've seen give, gives, um, gets giveaways the most. Really just depends. Um, so 100%, you know, just test it out. Just see what Amazon gives you. But, you know, for example, um, let's say they say, um, you know, we can get 5,000 people to watch this. So you click 5,000, you're giving away two. Um, and it's lucky random winner, right? So it will be the 5,000 um, person that enters and the 10,000 person that enters. So it'll sh uh, shift it away um, for every 5,000 person. So um, that's just an example. Um, so participants. So what you can do to this giveaway to, to kind of boost it up, to get your brand out there, to really advertise to them is you can connect a YouTube video. Um, so when you connect these YouTube videos to your giveaways, the participant needs to watch at least 15 seconds of the video to enter your giveaway. Other, if they do not watch the video for 15 seconds, they can not enter to win your giveaway. So, um, this is a little unfortunate considering it used to be 30 seconds. It's now 15 seconds. Um, kind of a bummer, but you know, it's just making sure a lot of good information is in those first 15 seconds with your video. Um, so, you know, this, again, we get a lot of questions about what video to add, you know, to use. So use the video that you are showing to promote other products or your brand is a great way to do it. Um, one thing I will mention, Amazon does not watch these YouTube videos when you submit them. So just something to consider, you know, I'm just throwing it out there, take it for what you want, but Amazon is not watching these videos. So it's really up to you what you would like to put in those videos. Um, but basically, you know, connecting that YouTube video is a great way to just get people to understand your brand, get them to really buy into it, right? So that's what we like to use those for. The final step is connecting a promo code to this giveaway. Um, so we always do a private promo code for this because we don't want it on the detail page. Um, it's really for only for people that do giveaways and, um, it's a great way, um, to hopefully, you know, if they lose, you know, that's okay. You have a promo code, so it's fine. And what's cool is before people enter the giveaway, they're actually told how much they'll save if they lose. So these are people that already know they're going to get a promo code. It increases the likelihood they'll click on your your giveaway. If you don't have a promo code, they're probably like, you know, if I'm not going to save if I don't win, is it really worth watching 15 seconds? You know, people are busy, right? 15 seconds is a long time to people nowadays. But anyway, making sure you have that promo code in there is incredibly crucial. So make sure that's in there. And uh, one cool thing is the giveaways dashboard. So after you set up a giveaway, it'll lead you to the giveaways dashboard where you can watch to see when your giveaway goes live. And then you can watch the statistics of how many times it's clicked. Um, one thing it does tell you is how many promo codes were claimed and how many were used. So it tells you how many people purchased. Um, so that's incredibly cool. Um, we still do it the old fashioned way we'll, where what we'll do is we will download the promotional report a week later um, and just double check that that dashboard's correct and that that promo code actually was used. And, and how you guys do that is you just download that promotional report and then you find the giveaway promotion you've already set up and you can see how many times it was used. So leading off of this, we're gonna talk about that YouTube video and how you can retarget customers off of Amazon using the Amazon giveaways. So um, basically, you know, we just talked about it, YouTube videos, right? You can connect them to these Amazon giveaways. So when you're doing a giveaway, um, YouTube videos are a great way to capture an audience and promote the product and cross sell, right? So, to take your giveaway up a notch and just to take this strategy up a notch is you have a YouTube account and you can connect that to your Google ads account. When you do this, you are now able to pixel every single person watching these videos. So I'm going to use a great example. Um, one of our clients, they did a YouTube, they did a giveaway with your, their YouTube video and they got 22,000 people watching their video. They're now pixeling 
to those people. So it's incredibly important. It's a great way to advertise to them again, retarget to them again. With ranking. Um, so that's another thing to consider. Um, but basically, this is, I mean, this is a great, great way to retarget guys, because I know right now there's a lot of stuff going on with, Am uh, with Amazon and Facebook and how they're shutting down different softwares for customer lists. So just try to find different ways to do stuff like this, right? So you can add that pixeling into your account use that pixeling to follow people around YouTube and continue to retarget to them to potentially sell. Now I will be honest, I am, I am not a YouTube expert. I'm, I'm not going to pretend to be a YouTube expert. So if you are like me, not a YouTube expert or a Google ads expert, that's okay. Hire someone that knows what they are doing when it comes to this pixeling thing, because it's such a great opportunity. Like I said, in one week, that one client got 22,000 views on their YouTube channel from Amazon, able to pixel to them. And now they're able to send that traffic and retarget. So when it comes to this stuff, um, we want you guys to think outside the box. You know, what are your biggest assets? What works well for you guys? Does YouTube work better for you guys? Does Google ads work better for you guys? Does Facebook use that work better for you guys? And try to get people there. Try to get them where your best assets are. Try to get them where you're the strongest. That's when you're going to see the most success. So um, like I said, guys, this is something not a lot of people are doing. Do it now before a bunch of people are doing it, right? Um, cause right now, I mean, setting up that Amazon giveaway, the only cost to do it is to purchase the product from yourself. So basically if you're, you know, it's your cost of goods, but you know, you're purchasing the product from yourself and of course the Amazon fees associated with it. But, um, but yeah, pixeling guys do it for sure. If you're doing giveaways. Um, so I just want to give the final tips and this is kind of just like a big summary of what we just talked about. But, um, you know, first thing I want to say is invest in video, do it right? You, you guys have to do it. You know, if, if you don't have any video assets, that is okay, but make it your 2019 goal that you need to get these video assets, right? Um, it, it's crucial, especially, you know, Amazon has it on their listing. Now, now you can at, send people to YouTube. That would be a great place for the video, right? You can pixel, you can do these things, get video though, because without the video, you can't do these things. So making sure you have video is our first thing. Second thing is hire a Google expert or hire an expert in general. If you don't know how to do these things, I don't see anything wrong with that. Hire an expert though that knows how to do it. It's simple, it's easy guys. Just hire an expert that can help you out with this stuff. Do your keyword research. This ties into the enhanced brand content updates we were talking about. Um, and it just goes in general to your listing. You, you need to do your keyword research guys optimizing your listing, making sure it's as strong as possible for quarter four. And just for beyond that, you know, it starts with keyword research and just knowing your product and knowing different terms people are searching. So making sure you have that keyword research done, tying it into the enhanced brand content to use it for PPC, definitely do it and spend extra time doing it guys. It's, it can't hurt. Right. And then think outside the box, right? So um, you know, pixeling, for example, that's incredibly outside the box using any leverage Amazon gives you is incredibly important. And it starts with thinking outside the box and understanding what is your strongest asset? What do you have that your competitors don't have? And, you know, just thinking like that. So, um, other than that, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you all have a amazing quarter four. happy Thanksgiving, happy black Friday, happy, happy cyber Monday. And I will see you guys next month.